Hello friends, welcome to Kodami Go. In today's video, we going to group a set of records. As you can see on my screen, I have an array of objects which has three properties, name, reason, and age. We will be grouping this data with the help of array or reduce method in today's video. Yeah. So first of all, let me first define an interface which has name, reason and key properties so that we could ensure the shape of the record we are dealing with. Since we have the interface created, let me say that this records is an array of records. Since we are grouping this array of objects, then we will be creating a new shape of the objects. So for this, let me define one more interface. And let's call it grouped record. It's going to have a key. Key is always a string. Since this is going to be an object, the key of an object can only be string. It can it cannot be of any other type. And the value against that key going to be an array of a string. Now let's go ahead and define a method. And let's call it group by. This function going to accept two parameters. The first of them going to be by. The by is referring to one of these keys that I want to group this array of object by. And of course, the second argument is the record itself. We are returning a new object from this group by methods. We know that records is an array of record. So if I type dot or period, you see that I have very nice IntelliSense supported. Let's go ahead and define our reduce method. That is the backbone of this video. Reduce accepts two arguments. The first is the callback function and second one is the initialized value. In our case, the initialized value is going to be a blank object of grouped record type. The callback method of reduce also accepts some positional arguments. The first of them going to be the accumulator variable or object in our case. Second one going to be the record. So this record would refer to one particular row of this array of object at a time. This reduce callback accepts other arguments such as the index and the whole array but we do not need them for now. Let's go ahead and return the accumulated variables. If we do not return the accumulated variable then we would not be able to group our data. Let's say by is uh, one of these keys, let's say it's a name. Let's say we are, this is the very first iteration of reduce and uh, the record object is referencing to the very first object. In this case, the value of this whole expression would be this name. So key will be the value of this. Now, as you can see, if I'm hovering on it, TypeScript is going crazy. It's saying that no index signature with a parameter and blah, blah, blah. It's yelling at me. So to satisfy TypeScript, I can ensure that the by is always going to be one of these keys. And for this, I'm going to use a very powerful keyword or you could say operator in TypeScript, which is key off. I'm just saying that the value is one of the keys that the record interface has. This is quite an uh, old JavaScript trick. And all I'm saying is that if this particular value exists, then return that value. Otherwise, create a new one. That's going to be the array of strings in our case. Since we know that this is going to be an array, so I get, again, very nice IntelliSense. If I just type in period, I get all the arrays method. Now I am simply pushing a stringified version of my object. Next, let's call this method. Let's pass in region, and region is one of the keys. Let's open the terminal, run the command. As you can see that data has been grouped based on the regions. These are all the regions. So for instance, against Africa, we have this many records, four records in total. And for Northeast region, they have just one. The best part of this group by method is that I can pass in any key of these objects. Let's say if I want to group my data based on age. I can type age here. Let me save this, open up the console and let me run the same command again. You would see that this time around the data has been grouped based on age. But here's a one little problem with our approach. What if I said age underscore 12 and this is a property that does not exist. In this case, we're going to get some unexpected values. It has grouped everything against undefined. This is not what we want. There should be a way to check that only valid 
properties or valid keys will be passed in. So how can we make sure that this group by method takes in only valid keys as the first argument? Well, the trick is quite simple. So you see that we have declared the by variable to be of type string since age underscore 12 is a valid string and type script is not compiling but we can do better we can make use of key of operator one more time so instead of saying a string we can say by is going to be key of record so now you see that it's saying that age underscore 12 is not assignable so if i try to pass in any key that does not exist on record it's going to flag some errors one last time, let me group the data based on main. Let me save it. Open up the console. Run the same command. You would see that this time around data has been grouped based on the name. So that's it in this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. Thanks you so much for watching.